The second part opens with Emma watching a dog. She then takes it to the woods, and kills him. Three weeks earlier, Emma lives with her Aunt Angela, who takes care of Emma after her father died. And she wakes her up to go to school. Emma looks in the mirror, and trains herself how to laugh and speak innocently. Emma goes to breakfast with Angela, and her husband Rob. And they have a young son named Kate. Although Rob treats Emma well, he can't feel comfortable at home. When they finish breakfast, Angela drives Emma to her school. And by chance, Emma sees an advertisement for a boarding school, then asks Angela about it. Angela tells her that Rob found a good boarding school, where the education is better. And they are thinking of applying to this school. But in fact, they want Emma to leave them off, so they can take some rest. Meanwhile, Emma knows that Rob doesn't want her to live with them. She goes to her school, and greets her classmate Stephanie. After that, they go to their class, and we see that Emma is superior. On top of that, the teachers love her. Suddenly, a new student named Katie enters, and the teacher introduces her to the students. But Katie is looking at Emma with strange looks. In dance training, the trainer tells Emma to train herself more. Then she thanks Stephanie for her good doing. At that moment, Emma gets annoyed, because she wants to be the leader of the dance team. And when the training ends, Emma trains herself to be better than Stephanie. On her way home, her classmate Tom meets her and offers to drive her. But she thanks him because her house is near. When Emma goes home Rob is busy and she sees Kate coming out of his play area. Then, she smiles and looks at him from the window as he goes to the pool. At the last moment, Angela sees Kate and runs to save him. She then shouts at Rob because he should be with the baby. He assures her that he locked the door of the house well, but she doesn't care. And Emma is happy while they're fighting. After a while, they sit down and have lunch. But Angela tastes the food very salty. And Rob is surprised because he puts suitable salt in the food. After all of this, he feels that there is something strange, but he doesn't say any comment. The next day, Emma goes to school and stays with her friends. Then, Stephanie sees Katie sitting alone. She tells Emma to go to her, and invites her to stay with them. So, she introduces herself to Katie. But Emma is surprised after Katie tells her that she knows her well. And Katie talks to her in a bad way. But Emma doesn't show any reactions and walks away. She returns to her friends, but doesn't tell them what happened, and says that Katie will sit with them another time. At the same time, Rob is tidying up Emma's room, and he is surprised when sees his knife in her room. After a while, Emma returns from school, and Angela tells her that she is accepted into the boarding school. Emma then understands that they have made the decision, but she acts like she is excited to go to her new school. Then, Emma goes to her room while she is so nervous. But after a few seconds, she looks in her mirror as if nothing happened. In the evening, she watches Rob from the window, and it seems that she is thinking about something, because he makes Angela abandons her. When Emma falls asleep, she dreams when she was young, and sees her classmate Milo and her nanny Chloe who she killed both. In the morning, Emma sits with her friends at school. After a while, Katie joins them. Then, she tells them that she came from the city that Emma lived in it before. Also, she was her classmate in the same school, but Emma can't remember her anymore. Meantime, Stephanie invites them to a party for her dance team at her house, and she specially invites Katie. On the same day, Emma helps Angela and Rob prepare dinner, and they hear Kate's voice crying, so Angela goes to see him. After that, Rob tells Emma to take care of the food until he replies to his phone. At this time, Emma takes the chance and makes the food burning. Angela gets mad at Rob, and he says that he asks Emma to take care of the food until he comes back. But Emma tells them that it is not her problem, and that she was in the bathroom. At that time, Angela calms down them and says she will call a fast food restaurant. After that, Emma goes to her bed, and she speaks to the therapist who she follows since the time her father died. Then, Emma tells her what happened, but the therapist tells her that she must say sorry to Rob. So, she does what the therapist said, and goes to the garage for him. Emma gives him juice, and says sorry to him. He believes her innocence, and tells her that he isn't sad about her because she is like his daughter. In the evening, Emma is preparing to go to Stephanie's party. Meanwhile, Rob is still fixing his car, and is surprised by the light turning off, and he sees Emma. But before he gets out from under his car, it falls on his leg, and he screams until loses consciousness. After that, Emma goes to the party, as if nothing happened. In Stephanie's home, Katie arrives and sits with the group, 
When they're talking, Katie says that Emma had no friends, and asks Emma if she remembers when she fell her and stole the watch from her. Emma gets embarrassed, but she acts like she isn't angry, and tells Katie that she is wrong, and that someone else did that. At this point, Stephanie's mother enters and tells Emma that Rob is in the hospital, and to be ready to go to him. When Emma arrives, she runs to comfort her aunt, and knows that Rob is about to die. But if 24 hours pass, he'll be alive. Then, Emma comes home and takes Rob's knife. She can't stand Kate anymore, and wants to hit him, but doesn't do it. And he innocently laughs, thinking that she plays with him. After that, her aunt thanks her for standing beside her, and hugging her. In the hospital, Rob begins to recover after passing the dangerous stage. When he tries to communicate with Angela, she understands that he wants to write something to her. So, she brings him paper and a pen. But with difficulty, he writes Emma's name, and Angela thinks he wants to check on her. Then, she goes home and tells Emma that his condition has improved. Meanwhile, Emma gets confused, and asks her if he said something about the incident. But Angela tells her that he doesn't remember anything. Emma reassures and feels good after this. Then, she tells Angela that she is going to prepare herself because tomorrow they'll choose the leader of the dance group. But after that, she watches Stephanie's dog, then takes it to the woods, and kills him like the movie's intro. And Emma leaves, as if nothing happened. The next day, she goes to school and her friends tell her that Stephanie is absent because she found her dog dead in the woods. And Emma acts like she is so sad. In the head training class, the girls elect Stephanie as their leader because she is the best one among them even though she isn't there. By then, Emma returns home very upset because she doesn't like anyone to take something she wants. As usual, she sits before her mirror and thinks of something bad again. Meanwhile, Rob arrives at the house, and Emma goes to check on him. When she knows that he still doesn't remember anything about the incident, she feels happy and helps him. At school, Katie meets her and says that she knows everything she has done, and tells her what Emma did to the first nanny when she dropped her off the stairs, until her aunt's husband. After that, Katie threatens her that she will tell everyone the truth, but Emma coldly tells her to stay away from her, or she will regret. Suddenly, Katie slaps her on the face. But Tom who has a crush on Emma, sees that, and calls the teacher to punish Katie. In the evening, Emma tells her aunt about Katie, and says that she makes rumors about her, and hit her this morning. So, her aunt hugs her and tells her not to worry. The next day, Angela calls the principal of the school to punish Katie severely for what she did. Meanwhile, Stephanie's mother enters, and she is a doctor in the same hospital where Angela works. She tells her that Stephanie has improved, but the doctor warns them not to upset her. Also, she went to school and left Stephanie with her medicine, in case she got tired at any time. On top of that, she says when they reviewed the cameras of the house, they saw a girl stealing the dog and taking the dog to the woods, but her face isn't clear. After that, Angela asks her to send her the video. At the same time in the school, there is an exam. Emma sends Stephanie a video on her phone. She opens it and sees her dead dog, she then has a cramp and falls. And quickly Emma takes her phone and deletes the video without anyone seeing it. But Stephanie's medicine isn't there, and unfortunately, she dies. At the same time, Angela is watching the video of the dog, and is surprised that Emma is the dog's killer. Then, Angela tells her about the video, but Emma cries and tells her that she just took the dog and left him in the woods, to make Stephanie looks for him, and not attend the dance elections. But there is someone who killed him. Meantime, Angela calms her down, but she doubts of her. In the morning, Rob hears Emma as she whistles, and remembers that he heard the same whistle on the day of the accident. When Emma goes to give him food, she is surprised that he looks at her angrily and holds her hand, and tells her that he remembers everything on the day of the accident. Also, he knows that she is the worst thing that happened to them, and that she deceives her aunt. Then, he offers her to stay away from his family and go to the boarding school. On the other hand, he won't tell Angela the truth because she loves Emma. But Emma doesn't deny any of this, and agrees to the offer then walks. The next day, Angela checks on Rob, and tells him that she'll go to get some air. Then, Emma sees her while she's walking, and it seems she thinks of something. Angela goes to Brian, the keeper of their old house, 
Brian is the one who shot her brother with fire when he saw him is going to kill Emma. He tells her that her brother was clearly sad when he arrived home, but wasn't mentally ill or crazy. Then, he tells her that he was surprised by him while he was holding his gun, saying that he wants to protect Emma from herself. After that, Brian couldn't wait and killed him. Angela becomes so sad because she didn't believe her brother when he told her what Emma was doing. Meanwhile, the nurse walks away from Rob. Then, Emma steals his phone. Angela calls him to warn him, but his phone is with Emma. On the other hand, Emma calls Katie. She then tells her to go to meet her, because she feels guilty, and wants to confess to her everything she did, and Katie agrees. But before she goes to Emma, she prepares her phone to record what she'll say. Katie arrives at Emma's home, and she gives her a drink. Emma then tells her that she wanted to get rid of her aunt's husband, because he thought of sending her to a boarding school. On top of that, she stole Stephanie's medicine from school, so that she can be the leader of the dance team. But suddenly, Katie feels dizzy, and knows that she put something in her drink. Meantime, Emma calls the police while screaming, and tells them that her friend attacked her, and she wants to set fire to the house. Then, Rob hears the voice of his son crying over. With difficulty, he sits on the chair and tries to climb the stairs, but is surprised by a recorder with Kate's voice. Meanwhile, Emma tells him that he shouldn't have threatened her, and she leaves him inside the house. At that time, Angela arrives and Emma goes out to her. Emma tells Angela that her friend set fire to their house, but Angela doesn't believe that, and tells her that she is psycho, and she should have believed her brother. Then, she goes to save Rob. Unfortunately, they both die. The firefighters and the police arrive and take Emma and Kate. After that, the therapist tells her that there is a good family that will adopt her. But Emma asks her to take Kate with her, because he is the only one left for her from her family. Then, she smiles as usual in a horrible way. Thanks for watching, take care, and see you in the next video. Big dog status, now I'm a big dog, bitch. I pull up on the block in a big